Hey guys, here we are back at it, and today we are testing the XFX 5700 XT. This is the RAW 2 edition, and I've got it in my editing machine right here. As you can see, we use this for editing. We also use it a bit for gaming as well. And I just want to show you the results. I've been out letting this run for quite a while today. Now, let me say before I get into Afterburner or any of that, I have not done the BIOS mod yet. So that's coming up. This is still the out of the box settings, but we've put this in Windows now and we did some basic overclocks here. So no BIOS modding at all. And where we are is on the power limit, we're down at minus 35%. We're at 2150 on the core clock, 1900 on the memory, and 80% on the fan. And you can see right here, we're at a really nice 46 degrees Celsius and you can see 750 to 780 millivolts and if we check the power at the wall you can see we're at about 210 212 watts at the wall and the system idle the idle I tested I'll show you that here in just a second but it's around 80 to 84 watts so if we do some quick math here Two, let's call it 212 minus 84 idle. So the GPU while mining is at about 128 watts. And you can see right here, the power meter, let's see here, that's power in watts, has been really stable as measured by the driver at about 116 to 117 watts. And the power chip draw, now this is an average, I've left it on average for the whole time that this has been running, which has been several hours. I think we're at, yeah, there you go, going on four hours now. And uh, that's our average, so about 115, 116 watts, and you can see the same things reported by the driver in here somewhere, where is it? <laughs> Here we go, so right here in purple, 117 watts. And right now we're at 54.8 mega hash per second, which is really similar to what we saw in Hive, except we've optimized our overclocks a little bit more here before we've done any BIOS modding. And it's looking really good. I mean, I'm, I'm very impressed. I haven't been sure whether I would recommend this card. And quite honestly, I don't know what's gonna happen next when we do some BIOS modding. But here's what I would say. I got this card on sale from Best Buy and if you could pick this thing up kind of like I did and get it the same price as the 5700s so far what I would tell you is I think it is a, a decent deal I think it's a decent card for mining and here's why if you're someone that doesn't want to get in and tinker for an extra 5% and take the risk of bricking your GPU if you're just not comfortable with that if you want to put it into a rig and get to mining and look at how stable this has been so it 54.7 at one point we even touched uh, 55 but let's look at how stable this has been so here we are 401 accepted shares zero stales and one rejected share but yeah I mean so much better than Hive after I had left this thing up and running in Hive after a few hours it started becoming unstable and I don't think that's necessarily Hive's fault I just didn't have the same overclocks in there so um, yeah I mean this thing I'm I'm happy with it. I may even leave this in my gaming rig here. This may be my new primary graphics card for this gaming rig. Now, one other thing I would point out that is pretty impressive about this card. Now, I do have the fan speed at 80%, so the memory right here is at 76 degrees Celsius. That's pretty impressive because a lot of these 5700s I'm seeing folks doing reporting on, and in Discord and just other YouTube videos, those memory temperatures are getting in the 80s, 90s, and some even in the hundreds. Now, the other thing I would call out though, just to, just to be aware before you order six or eight of these, is I'm not testing this in a full-blown rig with six of these sitting right beside each other. So that's just something to think about. That's probably gonna add some additional heat. You know, we've got cooling that's designed specifically for one card here. All right, so we're just grabbing our idle wattage at the wall and it's been bouncing between 77 and 85. It seems to be a little bit more consistent at around 78 or so, between 78 and 80. I think I'm gonna just grab 80 maybe. 
Hey guys, I just wanted to show you, I'm gonna be using this spreadsheet that I dusted off for my 470 rig build, if you guys remember that. I put that together. Well, I've created a template, and I'll put a link to this in the show notes, just in case you guys wanna copy this. But if you've got something better, certainly let me know. Um, I'll just use whatever's best. But this is what I put together for now. It allows you to put in some basic information about your rig, your overclocks. You can use this with Hive, you could use this with Windows, uh, you could use it with AMD or NVIDIA. And then right here, the orange is where I'll enter my observations like mega hash, the wattage, the uh, wattage at the wall, the GPU temperatures. And then over here is where it does some automatic calculations on uh, how good your overclocks are affecting your results. So green is good, red's bad, yellow's in the middle, and it'll sort of give you that... Um, that skew as you go so you know which direction you're headed. And so each row is a new overclock. It just kind of helps me with my OCD to make sure that I'm heading in the right direction and I'm, I'm setting up my rig in the most efficient way possible. So we're gonna use this just for overclocking this one GPU. And let's do our stock settings and I will be right back. Okay guys, here we are with our stock settings which out of the gate, it has us at a core voltage of 1198. We've got 1050 millivolts. Uh, we've got 0% offset on the power limit. 2064 on the core clock, 1750 on the memory clock. And I did, the only thing I adjusted was the fan speed. I did bring that up to 80%. And you can see in our stock settings, we're at a nice and cool 56 degrees Celsius. And we are mining at 54, 0.8 mega hash per second and if we look over here at our wattage at the wall it's about 285 watts at the wall and our memory temperature you can see where it ramped up our memory temperature is actually staying pretty cool it's at 84 degrees Celsius considering these are stock settings I haven't done any overclocking on here at all now the wattage is really high let's let's figure out the GPU driver it's saying it's at 180 watts but uh, let's go that's that's not too far off it doesn't include the riser but uh, let's look at our spreadsheet here and drop these settings in and see what we get. So our wattage to the wall, we said 280. And we were at 54.8 mega hash. Okay, there we go. So that's not great, guys. We are at 0 0.274 mega hash per watt. And really, I mean, for this card, that's, that's okay for any legacy card, but for this card on Ethereum, we really need to get that efficiency much higher. And in case you're wondering what the rig mega hash per watt is, that's the total wattage at the wall, including this system. So that's why that one is actually worse right there. So let's, uh, let's make a quick modification to our overclocks and we're gonna start a new row here. So we're at 80 on our idle and uh, yeah, let's let's uh, let's go make some changes, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to show you the change here real quick. I've already got some kind of optimal settings, just stock stock BIOS here now, but with some little modifications that I made here on my overclocks. So I brought the power limit down by 35%. It dropped this down to 750 millivolts. And our core clock's at 2150 here in Afterburner anyway. And our memory clock's at 1900. And one thing that's kind of interesting because this stock BIOS, this is really as far as it's gonna let us go. So I can bring that up further if I want. And I'm stuck there. Yeah, so our, our temperature is gonna start dropping here. We're at 51 degrees Celsius. And our memory temperature, we're gonna keep an eye on that. It's gonna start dropping as well. You can see it's already down to 80. Uh, and it should get down into the upper 70s. And over here, you can see we are still at about 53.8 mega hash per second. The wattage at the wall, which right now it's saying about 217, 216, 217. But we'll let that sit in and bake for a few minutes and then we'll be right back. It's worth noting, let me go ahead and blow this up here that I just added some notes. We are still in the stock BIOS, stock BIOS guys. And we're running Phoenix Miner 5.1C. So let me get in here, play around with the BIOS and see how much trouble we can get into. And let's try to get this efficiency up. Let's try to get it up. But most importantly, 
not just get a high hash rate and a good efficiency, but let's also try to keep it stable. So let's see what we can do. I'm gonna see what kind of trouble I can get into here and we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna try to make some changes in more power tools and I wanted to show you the first two that I'm gonna start out with. If you go to overdrive limit, you can see this memory max clock, 1100 megahertz. So I've increased that, that was at 950. And then over here on the power and voltage, I'm changing the minimum voltage right here on both of these to 725. They defaulted at 750. So just a couple minor changes here in more power tools, but I, I want to just not focus only on the you know maximum mega hash but the efficiency so I want to see how efficient I could get it I feel like it's already pretty efficient as it is without any modding whatsoever but I want to see if I can beat that folks I want to see we're at 0 0.431 mega hash per watt and I want to see if we can beat that so let me save these and we'll keep on going I just wanted to show you red bios editor real quick so the 5700 XT is loaded up I loaded up the stock BIOS and I copied over the 1550 megahertz memory timings to all of these additional 1750, 1800, 1875, and 2000. And then I also modified the second memory type, the 1550, to all of these as well so that everything is the same. Okay, folks, I wanted to show you this real quick. We are above 60 mega hash right here. Now, granted, look at this. In the software here, we're at 179 watts, so I haven't adjusted anything. Power limits are still where they are, so this is kind of the new stock, if you will, on the modded BIOS. But it's just nice to see that this thing is above 60 mega hash because I didn't see that before. I really, the max I could get was about 55 mega hash. So let me play around with this, guys. Let me. Um, let me make some adjustments here and let's see how efficient we can get this and I just wanted to show you where I am at the moment so we're at minus 20 percent on the power limit and that's at right around 875 millivolts and if you look over here in the software we're at 143 watts at 58.46 mega hash which is pretty strong guys pretty strong and at the wall 245 245 watts so again we we're not at our max optimization this is we still have a ways to go here bringing our power limit down now that we've got the new bios in place just wanted to see where we are so let me take this a couple more steps further here actually why don't we go ahead let's drop this down to 25 neg 25 and Let's see how that changes power here. Temperature looks good, 47 degrees Celsius. Memory temperature, 76 degrees. And we're at 831 millivolts. Still at 58.4, and you can see our wattage has dropped. We're at 134 watts in the software, so we dropped about 10 watts. And if we look over here, that matches up. Now let's bump up this memory here and see what we can do. So 1925, oh look at that, so it stopped us at 1924 right there. I didn't fat finger that did I, 1925 and apply, nope it dropped it back down. Alright let's bring our power limit up, let's try at neg 30, that's gonna take us to about 800 millivolts. Wow, look at that, okay, 55.8. .8. 58 guys, 58.3. <laughs> and it looks like we're at about 125 watts, 125 watts in the software. All right, I tell you what, before I get too excited here, we're going to try to beat 60. We're going to try to beat it and get a really good number for our efficiency here. But let me go ahead and record this in the spreadsheet uh, before I do any more tweaking. So I've got my reference point and uh, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, Raptors, check it out. Check it out. We are almost to 61 mega hash. 
60.86, 60.87, and we're only at 129 watts in the software. And over here at the wall, just so you can see what's going on, 229 at the wall. And keep in mind our system, our system here, this is a gaming machine and productivity machine. This is running about 80 to 85 watts idle. So, yeah, this is exciting. I, I went downstairs, guys, and I came back up after making a quick adjustment here. And we are at 775 on our voltage. We're at 2050, 1924, and we made an adjustment in the command line here. Here we go. So GPU one set VMEM clocks to 1975 megahertz, and that has pushed us almost, almost to 61. So I've got to do it. I got to get to 61 with a decent efficiency here, 129 watts in the software. So let me uh, let me make some adjustments and see if we can break through 61. All right, guys, here we go. We did it. 61.5 mega hash. 61.5. Now, we are at 144 watts. Not the most efficient, but uh, it's just fun to see that number. 61.5 mega hash. And here's a real quick look at the afterburner settings. We're at minus 20% on the power limit, about 875 millivolts or so. 2064 on the core clock, 2000 on the memory, and the fan speed's keeping the memory pretty cool, pretty cool. But uh, yeah, guys, 61.5 mega hash per second. Really exciting. So yeah, all right, I'm gonna work on efficiency a little bit more, but just really fun to see that number, guys. Okay, guys, we're getting some really good results now. We are at 60.7 mega hash. 60.7 and you can see at the driver it's saying 125 watts and this has been mining for quite a while it's been pretty stable you can see here 74 accepted shares and this is just a quick look at the settings that i've got in here so we're at 1197 on the core voltage basically i set the power limit to minus 30 percent the core clocks at 2150 memory we were able to push in afterburner to 2000 and I may continue to play around with that a little bit and see if I can go higher than that and keep it stable. But check this out. So the GPU is at 46 degrees Celsius, so nice and cool. And the memory is at 76, it jumps between 76 and 78, which is still pretty cool for these, for these uh, 5700s. At the wall, we are 220 watts. So let me show you the spreadsheet so we can see where we are with that. All right, so basically I just made notes over here of when I was changing the BIOS and you can see here, this is my more aggressive botted BIOS. This is my second time modding it. And I'll show you kind of what I did in there for, uh, for these modifications to get to where I am. But most importantly, you can see the GPU mega hash per watt over here, 0 0.434. This is the, the most efficient setting that I had. Now, it is worth noting, check this out, that the stock BIOS, the stock BIOS was at 0 0.431 if you're looking for the best efficiency. Now, it was only at 54.7 mega hash, but think about that. I mean, you could get really, really good efficiency out of this with the stock BIOS and not do anything else. But, you know, hey, we, we like to push things, right? We like to see how far we can push our cards. So we got a really uh, similar efficiency here, actually better efficiency, and we're at 60.7 mega hash uh, per GPU. And let me say this, guys, over here, let me say this, my system idle watts right here at 80, I think that's conservative because honestly, it was jumping around, you know, no matter how long I left the system idle, it was jumping around between about 78 and 90. You know, really close similarity to what we saw reported from the driver. From the driver, we were seeing about 125 watts, uh, which is really efficient for this type of performance. My nutty results for you. Check this out. 67.8 mega hash. Look at the rejects though. We're at 26, 1, and 16. But uh, <laughs> maybe we can work on this a little bit here. <laughs> That's just insane. If I could get anywhere close to that and keep it stable. Okay, guys, let me get back to uh, trying to shore this thing up. Okay, I could keep doing this all day, guys. I'm going to stop there. I'll keep playing with this in my free time and see how far I can push this card and keep it stable. But really good results. We got to almost 62 mega hash, and uh, I'm going to see if I can break that. Okay, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.
monkey not say it Out loud, code monkey not crazy Just proud, code monkey like Tweedos Code monkey like Tab and Mountain Dew Code monkey, very simple man With big, warm, fuzzy secret heart Code monkey like you